Yo, it's Crow. And you ever want to just tell someone, take the L, just take the goddamn L? Well, I, I mean, I wish I could shout it to all of these uh, media outlets, but none more so than Washington Post, right? So the Washington Post, for those of you who are unaware, um, this was the publication that originally published Amber Heard's defamatory statements against Johnny Depp back in 2016. It would then uh, seem like, you know, maybe, uh, given that they were the, uh, the, 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 the ones who published uh, Amber Heard's defamatory statements, and now that there has been a trial where she has been found to have acted with actual malice in defaming Johnny Depp, that maybe this would be the moment where they would, you know, look internally onto themselves and say, hey, we really fucked this one up. But, but of course, that's not what's going to happen here. Now, instead, what the uh, Washington Post is doing is they've sent out their resident hack, Taylor Lorenz. When I say resident hack, I mean, my goodness, this woman is only known for causing controversies with people, getting stories wrong, and outright lying in her publications. And, and again, that's what happened here. So this is the article um, by the Washington Post. And look, if you want to read through the article yourself, that's fine, right? You you should absolutely do that. However, this is an edited article because the original article contained an outright lie. Actually, this article is not very uh, truthful either. That umbrella guy, an anonymous YouTuber whose entire channel is dedicated to pro-depth content, earned up to 80000 last month according to an estimate by social analytics firm Social Blade. Now, see, Social Blade will give you uh, numbers, right? And I'll put them up on the screen for Tug right now. And, and as you can see, um, it's not that he earned up to 80000 last month. According to Social Blade, they tracked that he made anywhere from $4,900 and 79000 To put in her article... That that umbrella guy made up to eighty thousand. I mean, look, technically, technically, that is true, right? Which is the best kind of fucking truth. Um, but in reality, that is that is just an absurd lie. That is an absurd lie, especially since a lot of the revenue that Social Blade tracks is based on his upload, the view times on the upload, and ad revenue, and. You know, uh, Taylor Lorenz, who considers herself to be like a social media expert, should know that YouTube has been demonetizing literally every pro depth video that's been out there. She would have had a better job tracking the, I don't know, the super chat revenue, which is available, and then trying to figure out like a rough estimation for taxes being removed by YouTube. And YouTube are like, I mean, that'd be like a way of doing it, but she's not that intelligent. Uh, so, anyways, what about this lie? Well, as you can see here, she goes, uh, you know, uh, that umbrella guy could not be reached for comment. She also said, um, uh, Ally Mazika, and I'm, I'm pronouncing that terribly, uh, was also reached out in her original article. Now, that would be legal bites, right? This is the uh, original uh, response. She had said that Mazika and Tug did not respond to comment to requests for comments. Not true. Now, according to legal bites. She said, um, this says I didn't respond to requests to comment. I know I've gotten a lot of emails over the past two months, but I've just double checked from your name, Taylor Lorenz, and I see no email from you. Also, I didn't suddenly pivot. I started covering this before trial began. Yeah, I, uh, that's another part of this article. Essentially, uh, what Taylor Lorenz tried to do with this article, on behalf of the Washington Post, the paper that originally published the defamatory statements against Depp is send Taylor Lorenz out there to write about how there's all these social media influencers and look at all the money they were making off of this. That's why they're pro Depp. Fucking, I, I, sorry, sorry. You read the article, you tell me if that's the implication you've got from this disingenuous hack. Now, in terms of this, it is an outright lie. She did not reach out to Legal Bites. And she didn't reach out to that umbrella guy. In fact, right? Tug called it out. See, Tug put this statement out, and and Legal Bites had also uh, uh, contact Taylor Renz at eight eleven p.m. Everybody had spotted this because these are look, man. When I saw the article, I posted it in my chat with Tug, right? Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is like your new hit piece. You gotta read this, right? 
Like, I'm sure Legal Bites had plenty of people sitting here this and go like, whoa, hey, did you not, did, did, did you know that uh, Taylor Renz say that she tried to talk to you and says that you refused to comment? Like, or, or didn't respond or whatever. Like, I'm going, come on, come on, come on. Why? See, here's the thing. I don't think Taylor Renz put that in there because, you know, she, she actually uh, uh, didn't intend to reach out to them for comment. I think Taylor Renz is just a lazy, incompetent journalist with zero standards. I think she rushed the story out because she had to get it out there today. And she literally just forgot to fucking reach out to these guys because she's that, she's just that incompetent, right? Now, over on uh, Tug's page here, so this is when he uh, talked about it, right? That umbrella guy, you know, talk about the money and everything. Looks like uh, Tug made the Washington Post because dedicated pro depth content. And that's how they speculate at what I made one month, by the way, but omit years of coverage. <laughs> True. I'd like to see proof that uh, Washington Post reached out to me because I got no email or Twitter DMs. And see, after he posted that at 944, Taylor Renz finally messages him to say, uh, do, do you want to let me know how much money you actually made? After I've already published an article saying that you made eighty thousand, would you like to tell me now? <laughs> God, wh how disgusting is this person? And again, again, I know I'm saying it a bunch. She's writing for the Washington Post, the paper that originally published the defamatory statements about Johnny Depp. Like it, that has got to be some insane conflict of interest here. But and the story keeps getting better. Don't don't worry, it keeps getting better. So. After Tug and uh, Legal Bites had, you know, publicly called out Taylor Lorenz for doing this, and, you know, it was pretty much blowing up. A lot of people were sharing this. Um, Washington Post goes in and made a stealth edit, right? Now, after making that stealth edit and getting criticized again, they went ahead and put in an actual correction. Now, as uh, Richard Hogg put over here... You be the judge. Does the new correction properly describe saying they reached out without ever reaching out? Two, stealth removing any reference to reaching out. And then three, adding a line about refusal to comment after publication of the story. This is getting worse. So, actually, we should read through this correction. A previous version of the story inaccurately attributed to Adam Waldman a quote describing how he contacted some internet influencers. That quote has been removed. Ah, where'd you get the quote from, Taylor? The story has also been a <laughs> amended to note the post's attempts to reach Ally Mazika and that umbrella guy for comment. You know, this is another thing, right? They they did not attempt until after the article had already been published. Everybody already knows that now. But the Washington Post is continually like, like this is a continuous lie. And again, I don't think the Washington Post actually meant for Taylor Lorenz to do any of this. I think she is just that incompetent. But you know what? They hired her. They're responsible for her. Train your fucking puppy. LOL, setting off a media war. Fun times. Fun times indeed. Uh, from Tug because Fox News. <laughs> yeah, Fox News is involved. Actually, I saw this story. No joke. I saw, uh, uh, I think Tim Pool was covering it too. Like, I, a lot of people are talking about this one. Um, but yeah, the Washington Post stealth edited Taylor Lorenz's report after YouTubers accused her of falsely claiming she reached out to them for comment prior to publication of her story about content creators thriving during the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Well, <laughs> Fox did reach out to Tug for a comment, and he put, it, uh, he, he put out a public comment about it. So I want to just read through it because... I, he says it very well. Fox News has asked me for a con yeah, I, oh, I said that. <laughs> he doesn't talk to media. Uh, Taylor Lorenz wrote an obvious smear piece conflating debt support with financial gain. She flagrantly ignored the fact I've covered this case for a year. Well, mischaracterizing that Adam Waldman said during the debt trial, she got the factual items about the relationship wrong as well. Crazier, she lied about contacting me in the Washington Post and tried covering this up after I called it out publicly. 
I noted this publicly at 8.31 p.m. on June 2nd. She wrote me over an hour after I posted this in a blatant attempt at backtracking. Additionally, she conflated protected earnings from the social blade to fit her obvious hit piece, saying I made up to an estimated $80,000. Social Blade notes a low 4.7k to 79.1k. Not only did she omit the low end, she added to the highest. This from someone claiming to be better than YouTubers. If she wanted a real story, she'd ask domestic abuse survivors why they backed Johnny Depp. But hey, money, right? Finn. Uh, okay, okay. I, again, it's I, it's not about protecting victims. It, it absolutely isn't about that. This is Taylor Renz, who works for the Washington Post. This is about removing the heat from the Washington Post because they, again, are the people that originally published the defamatory statements about Johnny Depp. They know what they did. They know what their part in all this fucking shit was. And now they're sending one of the most dishonest and discredited journalists out there to go attack Depp supporters. It's fucking disgusting.